What up, y'all? It's Fridge again, and I'm here to talk to you. For the haters out there, I'm talking through you. What up? Yo? Yeah. And what we're going to talk about is Anthony Davis finally responds to the rumors about his troubled relationship with LeBron James. Davis says, from the outside looking in, they don't know. So what he's saying is how it looked. It may seem like, you know, some static going on, you know, from us looking, us seeing the little sideline stuff and stuff on the bench. And when LeBron trying to talk to him, he turning away like, oh, don't touch me. Leave me alone. He's doing all that soft stuff. We see that. But then we can't just automatically assume that it's just problems in there. Like, we don't know. We just see what we can see from outside. So I get that part. However, there's too much action that follows with that stuff like there's certain things that you could do like body language and the way he be looking sometimes and the effort during the games is it's probably is so you know somewhat of a little a little bit more than static going on so i wouldn't say nothing's going on but he did say that you know there are times that they did have their moments so what do you mean by those moments he might be talking about when lebron passed kareem's record and the way that he was sulking and, and plopped down on the bench and folded his arms. And so there was probably some static there going on. And we all witnessed that, man. We seen it, man. Yeah, but David says it's not for them to know seriously, but me and Braun are fine. You can tell when we had our moments for sure, but I think it's people just looking for a story. So that's his response. But we all know, you know, we see this we see the body language man like even against the mavericks the other day where braun pulled him to the side and was trying to give him some advice when you know they kind of squared you know he walked away so he you know he was walking away while dude was trying to talk to him so you could tell there's some there was some static but i don't think it's i don't think it's that serious but he needs to do better than masking that stuff because we could see it and Davis also says, me and Braun have one of the best relationships, I think, in the NBA as far as duos and teammates regardless. But they don't see that. They don't see the stuff we do off the court and the time we hang out with each other. They see on-court stuff. So that's Davis that said that. Uh, and that's what I already said that also. Like, it's just, it's common sense. We don't know these guys personally. We don't know these guys off camera, so we can't just assume what we see on the court, what we see on TV in the midst of the public or in the public eye or just live. We can't just see that. But again, if you've been around people and you experience being around people, uh, being around co-workers, being around teammates, if you played sports, being around family members, you could tell when there's some type of static by body language by tone of tones of voices by responses so he did admit that they did have their moments so y'all could you know start putting that away now y'all could rest that now he did admit they had their moments so but all in all they cool with each other they trying to work things through and trying to get this thing going on the lakers team he needs to improve his body language and put more effort <laughs> That effort, that he just standing around looking crazy, dropping baby games. If y'all don't know what baby games are, that's when he's dropping eight points. He dropping uh, second graders, we call them. So we can't do that. So since LeBron has been out, it's been 12 games already uh, that LeBron been out. And you know, all eyes has all been on Davis. So he played his part, but I think he could do more, man. So that that mavericks game <laughs> the end of the mavericks game did him in bro like that, that man he cost the whole game just for being lazy and sulking bro i think i think he sabotaged that to be honest man but the season has seen him average 25.9 points and averaging 12.4 rebounds and two blocks and with nine games remaining he needs to be the man. He needs to be that guy 
Austin Reeves is saving his bacon, bro. <laughs> Austin Reeves come out of nowhere, bro, and started saving the team. You know, that's cool that we could rely on him, but I don't want to rely on Austin Reeves, bro. Yeah, so Anthony Davis is key for the Lakers while LeBron is out. But we did have some help from the others, and, you know, I, we all appreciate that if we are fans of the team or, you know, wanting them to do well and succeed and get to that playoff, you know, that playoff run. But Anthony Davis has always been the key. It has to go through him in AD. We trust, unfortunately, and hopefully we can still turn things around. Things can still look a little bit better. We just need Anthony Davis. So if there's any static, I hope that's off. He said him and Braun is good. And again, we got nine games left, man. Nine games. And we need them other teams to lose. And we just got to win all of our games. We need to win all of our games just to be safe. But then if other teams lose, that's that's even better. But we can't just rely on other teams like that. That's dangerous. So tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification and get all the notifications and alerts for when new videos come out. You already know what time it is.